Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Happy March. I am here today with my February favorite. I had a lot, especially in the way of beauty. If you follow my channel and you watch my What I Eat in a Days, you know that I've been trying out beauty subscription services. I'm obsessed with BoxyCharm. I just ordered Ipsy to give that a try as well. I did do the Glam Bag, the full size products. So I've been finding a lot of new beauty products that I am obsessed with. I also have a couple of home products as well as my WW food favorites, which is always the most popular portion of my monthly favorites. So if you're excited for another favorites video, give this one a big, huge thumbs up. It lets me know to keep putting these out every single month for you. And if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd love to have you hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it. So you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Like I said, I do these favorites every month, so you don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below for my newly released meal planner. These have been an absolute huge, huge hit. So we're doing another pre-order to pick up some more from the printer. So if you're interested in getting your hands on a game-changing meal planner that's absolutely beautiful, well-made, and super, super essential for losing weight, head on over to my nutrition coaching website and order yours today. You'll also find 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, as well as personalized macros and calories figure just for you. This is absolutely essential when you're losing weight to know how much calories you should be consuming versus how much you're putting out to be in a calorie deficit, whether you're on Weight Watchers or not, and to lose weight. So head on over and check all of that out on my nutrition coaching website. The links to everything I shared with you today, with the exception of some of the food items, because they can be found at your local grocery store, are in the description box. If I can score a promo code for you, I will definitely put that in the description box with the item. You'll also find my Facebook group, which is a community that would love to have you. So head on over and join us there as well. So we have a monthly favorites to do and we have a lot of favorites, so let's get started. We're going to start with WW food favorites, starting with these Arby's frozen fries. You guys, these are so good. I love Arby's fries, but they are super, super high in point. So I generally don't pick them up if I frequent, if I visit Arby's, but I saw these at Target and I got them. And as you can see, we have eaten a serving of these. These are so good. These are legit Arby's fries without the fried grease and oil, making them only six smart points per serving. Now at Arby's, you can get the little baby mini one for eight or nine smart points. So this is a really good way to go. Pop them in your oven, your air fryer. They are so good. Complete dupe for the Arby's fries. We had these with steak and veggies one night. This is going to be something that is added to my grocery list on a regular basis. Next up is this Larissa's beef jerky. Now I hauled this from Costco. It was on coupon. This beef jerky is so good. They're little bite-sized square pieces. They're super soft. They have excellent flavor and you can have a lot for the points and the calories. Not to mention this is a fantastic option for a protein filled snack. So I know they have these at Costco all the time. You may even be able to find these at your local grocery store. I'll see if I can find these somewhere online, whether that be Amazon or an online grocer, but I'll link these down below for you because if you're looking for a way to get in protein and you're looking for a really good snack, definitely pick up this beef jerky. Next is protein powder. I'm a big proponent of protein powder. I like to have a protein shake pre or post workout. And sometimes if I'm just trying to get in my protein for the day, a protein shake is a really good option. This is a new flavor from Devotion. This is the Mocha Java Chip. This is so good. It tastes like coffee and chocolate all mixed into one. It is absolutely incredible. I love to make this into a protein shake. One of the other things I love to do with devotion powders in general, just because they're nice and they're sweet and they're flavorful, I like to add these into oatmeal. It makes the best protein oatmeal ever. I have all the flavors of devotion on hand. I have the new mocha java chip, angel food cake, which is their vanilla, brownie batter, which is their chocolate. They also have sweet potato and a buttery blend. And I've heard that the buttery blend is perfect to bake with. Actually, all the devotion protein is great to bake with. So I'm excited to have all of these back on hand in my pantry. You'll be seeing a lot of this in upcoming videos. I'll link this down below as well with a 10% discount. In a recent grocery haul, I picked up these popcorn or kettle corn chips. Now I hadn't had popcorners, I don't think ever. In fact, I'd never really seen them in the local stores in my area. And then Walmart had these on an end cap. A lot of you in my grocery haul made a comment that these are dangerous and addicting. 
These are so delicious. They're absolutely incredible. They're little squares of kettle corn. That's exactly what they taste like. They're only 120 calories per serving for Smart Points, and that's for 17 chips. So you can even have half of a serving for two Smart Points and get in that good salty sweet popcorn that you're craving. These are really good. If I can find other flavors, I would definitely, definitely repurchase these. But being as I love sweets, this is a perfect sweet and salty combination. These Choco Dream Crispy rice sticks are so good. They're a light, thin, crispy coating over this really indulgent chocolate in the middle. I picked these up off the Thrive Market kind of as a whim, and this is the third box that I've purchased. They come in these little individual packs, which is great for portion control. There are two of the crispy sticks in here, and they are pretty big. I mean, this whole packet is filled with the two sticks. These are absolutely delicious. If you have a Thrive membership or if you don't, right now Thrive is offering 25% off your first order as well as a free gift when you join. They have monthly and yearly memberships add these to your cart. You will not be sorry. The little pack is 110 calories and I'll put the points here on the screen for you, but I will forever purchase these. They are such a great light sweet treat for after a meal or at the end of the day. And my last food favorite comes from the Lakanto website. This is a newly released product. This is their dark chocolate peanut butter cup. Now I ordered both the sunflower butter and this one. I did not like the sunflower butter. To me, it just tasted like butter in the middle of chocolate. I was not a fan but these dark chocolate ones are delicious. These taste like a Reese's dupe. I don't get any bitterness from the dark chocolate. They have a nice creamy center. These are absolutely delicious. They are again a new product to Lakanto, so you can find them on their website and I do have a 20% off discount code so I'll make sure that that's linked down below for you. Next up are my beauty favorites and I have quite a few for you this month starting with this E-Tech City blow dryer brush. I have the Hot Tools one of these that I paid about $70 for. This is less than half that price and this works in my opinion better and the reason for that is it has a bigger brush area and it is around the entire system it does have a high low and cool setting same as the hot tools these bristles on this brush are really good they have the nice ones that help comb through you can see that they have the smaller sturdier bristles which really helps smooth your hair i can use this to blow dry my hair and not have to flat iron i did feature this in a recent what i eat in a day video where i showed you how to use it and what my hair looked like after i had blow dried it with this this thing's great and don't spend the 70 dollars on the hot tools when this one is less than half that price and you can buy it on amazon with free shipping and a lot of times they'll even have promos or little coupons that you can add to your cart as well with this item this is from the brand e-tech city and again you can buy it on amazon it's down below you guys know i love beauty counter and i have been switching all of my skincare over and this was a new find for me i saw this on the website i picked it up because i do love the counter time line that is the anti-aging line this is the mineral boost hydrating essence and basically what this is, is it is a pre-moisturizer. So what I do is I drop a few of the little droplets of it into my hand and I just pat it into my skin before applying my eye cream and my nighttime moisturizer. This stuff is excellent paired with the counter time moisturizer, which I've shared on here before in my favorites videos. It's my nighttime moisturizer for anti-aging, no fine lines or wrinkles with this line. This is a nice, clean, cruelty-free product. Everything from Beauty Counter is clean. So that's what I love about it. Their makeup, their skincare. Highly recommend this. If you're trying to stop or prevent premature aging or eliminate fine lines and wrinkles, this is a great item to add to your nighttime routine. And in fact, you can actually put this on under your daytime moisturizer as well. And also from Beauty Counter are these new jelly lip glosses. I'm wearing the white one today. They come in four different colors. They're amazing. They're a nice glossy lip gloss with just a tint of shade. The pink one gives a really nice soft pink look. I like these when I'm doing a more bold eye. I don't want to have a bold eye and a bold lip, so I'll do a more neutral lip and these are so great. They're very hydrating, not sticky, and I've only picked up these two so far, but I am going to order the other two colors. These are awesome. They're super affordable. They're really easy to just throw in your purse or keep in your vanity. Love these. So again, today I'm wearing the white one of these and this is a new product from Beauty Counter. I don't know if it's a permanent product, so order it while they still have it, but these jelly lip glosses 10 out of 10. Now last month I featured the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette. This month I'm featuring the Volume 2 palette. I'm wearing this palette today. Whenever I do this pink kind of sunset look, 
I get a million questions from you guys on what eyeshadow palette that is, requesting a tutorial. It's the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. I like this palette because it has some neutrals, it has some mattes and shimmers, but it also has some of those more fun, vibrant colors, and you can just tone those down by buffing them out. They don't have to be as crazy vibrant if that's not the look you're going for, but I really do like the pinks and the oranges and the yellows that are part of this palette. Again, I had the Volume 1, now the Volume 2. This is my favorite eyeshadow. It's very pigmented and there's no fallout, which I very much appreciate because I do my eyes after I've done my face and I don't need to redo all my face makeup. But if you're looking for a neutral but a bold eyeshadow palette, Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 is the way to go. This is my new go-to primer, and I picked this up on a whim. I wanted to try the L'Oreal Infallible Powder Foundation that is viral on TikTok. I do like it, but I didn't favorite it because I find that it's better suited for the younger generation. If you have any fine lines or wrinkles, or if you have dry skin, it's just going to accentuate all of that. So I like it when I want just a quick foundation, and it was buy one, get one half off, so I decided to try this primer also from L'Oreal. This is the Invaluable Glow Lock Primer. This stuff is great. I really like this. It's very hydrating and it does give your skin a dewy glow. So when you apply your foundation or your concealer or highlighter, it's a nice blend. You can still see that dewy glow underneath your foundation. So I really like this. Highly recommend this primer. It's incredibly affordable as well. Another TikTok made me buy it is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. You guys, this is the best concealer ever. This is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape and it's about a quarter of the price. It works so good. I'm wearing it today. I wear it every single day. It's less than $10 and you can apply it under your eye, buff it out with your beauty blender and it just gives your eyes this brightening effect. It's full coverage so it covers everything but what I appreciate is that it doesn't sink into the fine lines and wrinkles. I love this. I would never buy the Tarte Shape Tape again when you can buy the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And my last beauty favorite is a little bit of self-care. One of my goals for 2021 was to do a self-care routine at least three days a week. I'm nailing that. I'm doing it more like four or five days a week. And this is one of my favorite ways to get in a little bit of self-care. These are the shower fizzies. They smell so good. I just drop one in the floor of my shower where my water hits. So you want to put it where the stream of water is pretty intense so that it has a chance to start to dissolve and release all the fragrance. It's a set of 12. I bought these on Amazon. They're individually wrapped and they're very, very fragranted, which I appreciate because I don't want to buy something for my shower that isn't going to give me the fragrance that I'm desiring. They're super affordable. Love these. These will be a constant repurchase for me. I usually will throw one of these in my shower once or twice a week. And my last two February favorites are for the home. Starting with these grab green garbage disposal tabs. I don't know about you, but I think it's disgusting when your garbage disposal stinks. I don't understand why that happens as often as it does, but I ordered these off of Grove Collaborative. I've been a member of Grove for several years now. I love them. I order from them once a month. Their prices are generally 10 to 30% less than the grocery store. They have everything from cleaning supplies, laundry. I order my dog treats from there. They even have personal care and beauty, but these garbage disposal tabs are great. I just toss one in my garbage disposal, run a little bit of warm water, turn it on, and it's nice and fresh, and the smell isn't there for quite a period of time. It actually helps eliminate the smell and keep your garbage disposal pretty fresh. The scent is tangerine and lemongrass. And again, it's just this fresh, pleasant smell. I've never seen these anywhere other than on Grove. So I'll link Grove down below. Grove gives back to the community with every order as well, similar to the Thrive Market. And again, their prices are super affordable. When you join, you actually receive a $35 free Mrs. Meyer gift set for joining Grove. It is a yearly fee, $19.99, and everything ships to your door for free with a minimum order. So Make sure you pick these up when you join the Grove Collaborative. And last but not least are the mainstays from Walmart Three Wick Candles. Now I mentioned that in my grocery haul where I decided to buy, I don't know, a dozen or so of these that I wanted to wait for Bath and Body Works to have a good candle sale. I just can't justify spending $25. I can't even really justify spending $15 on a Three Wick Candle. So I decided to give these Walmart ones a try. These are $3.33. They have the throw of the Bath and Body Works candles. The scent is there. They last 
equally as long as the Bath and Body Works candles. I love them. I probably will make this my go-to and then only pick up my very favorite, maybe seasonal Bath and Body Works candles because these are $3.33. So I can buy four to eight of these for the same price as one Bath and Body Works candle. They just smell so good. And like I said, their throw is very comparable to Bath and Body Works. So those are my February favorites. I hope that you gain some inspiration for some new WW food finds, beauty items, as well as household items. I could have had twice this much. I find myself having a lot of favorites, so I'm so glad I do these every single month. And then I'll just save some of them for next month's video. But if you enjoyed this one, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd love to have you. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the little bell next to it so you don't miss a single video. Everything I shared is linked down in the description box for you, as well as nutrition coaching, the meal planner, and my Facebook group. So check out that description box before you go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed another monthly favorites, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!